Good morning, bright and early on a Friday morning. It's probably 7.30 in the morning and it's heavy equipment day today. Trying to get this super early start on the day because we gotta go rent this piece of heavy equipment and hopefully it's gonna be available. I think the last time that we did the landscape where we needed the big machine was on a Friday. It, I'm pretty sure that it was. And I was dreading going to Home Depot to the rental section because I felt like it was gonna be a shit show. And we just got there at the right time. Hopefully we're gonna have that today, but there's no guarantee. It's almost like Russian roulette. Anytime you go up in there, it's either gonna be dead or it's gonna be swamped. So we'll just have to see. Hopefully they're gonna have the equipment that we need today. Not only do we need equipment, we need dirt, soil, uh, good soil for planting some trees. So it's gonna be a little bit of a cluster this morning trying to get everything all established and set up, but one thing's for certain, we're getting the early start to make sure that we can try to get everything ready to rock and roll. And hopefully soon we will be doing just that, rocking and rolling. Getting ready to pick up Damon right now. Then it's off to Home Depot to go see if they have this equipment. Hopefully it's gonna be a good day. All positivity all day. Let's make it sunshine and rainbows on this fine Friday. Shout out to you guys, let's go. All right, got a bunch of soil, and we got us the new rental flex. Bing. The Yanmar, the only working piece of equipment that they have over here. That's the Home Depot graveyard for equipment. Everything back there is broken, skid steers, other loaders. So hopefully this is gonna help us today. Hopefully it does. Hey, good morning. It is Monday morning as I start this and the last that you guys, well the last that I talked with you guys, I was going to do the big landscape job that was on Friday and what a big job that that ended up being. We went to Home Depot, rented another piece of equipment. We really wanted to get the skid steer. That wasn't available. They only had the broke down one there available. Ended up getting this Pretty much broke down Yanmar front end loader tractor with the backhoe attachment on that thing. And it just was not strong enough to do what we were trying to do with it. And what we were trying to do was just really level a old bed that used to have trees in it. There was a tree company that came, cut the trees down. They even had the stumps grinded, but they didn't grind everything that was in that bed. And it left a lot of huge roots and still stumps in there that we just couldn't get. The tractor did bust up a little bit of that, but we weren't able to get everything done. We got the trees planted over there and we probably got say 75%, maybe 80% of that bed cleared out, but still had quite a bit of huge roots and stuff left. We went out there without a chainsaw. We would end up leaving to go get the chainsaw, brand new blade on the chainsaw, 18 inch chainsaw, literally was dull within five minutes because of just getting ran into the ground and that became useless. So I share all of that with you guys because that was a job that we just were not able to complete. I was not able to complete that and that's also gonna be a job that I'm potentially gonna lose money on. It's been a long time since I've lost money on a, a, a landscape job and this could potentially be one of those jobs. Now I talked with the homeowners and they saw everything that we were up against and they were happy with what we did. They said, look, we know you know, that this is messed up. They said, maybe we can figure out something else to do. I said, hey, look, that's something that you shouldn't have to worry about. I'm the one who's doing the work. I'll figure it out. And what I came to the realization of is I got to get out there with a damn stump grinder. So within the next day or so, I'll be out there with the stump grinder and I'll get that situation done. I'll get that job done. The stump grinder is going to cost me uh, probably two or three hundred dollars for the day and I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up losing money or making very little off of that job, but it is what it is. I will never leave a job incomplete. And even if I end up in a situation where, you know, there was a lot of unknowns, I knew there was gonna be stumps and roots and shit like that. I was hopeful that the tractor would be able to do it. Would the skid steer have been able to do it? Probably not. Gave it our all, I mean, busted ass out there from nine o'clock till four in the afternoon on a Friday. And I mean, really no stops except for going and getting the chainsaw and still just couldn't get it done. So it is what it is and I will get that corrected. And that's why there was no other video because we were just working so much to, and it, were, it was not a fun time out there. It was 
pretty brutal. Hot and hella work. In other news, more positive news, folks, I got a huge announcement. Uh, our house is potentially under contract, the flip house. Been on the market now for five days, and man, what a little roller coaster this whole thing has been. Now, with the first flip house, on the very first day, we had an offer before somebody even saw it. They would actually fall through midway through everything because they ended up getting denied on the loan. Somebody else came right in after them, got the house. It was because the house was listed for $118,000. This house, yo, we listed this house for $142,500 and not a move was made on this house. Listed the house on Tuesday. Friday, I'm out at the landscape job getting my ass handed to me. I called my wife to call the realtors and tell them, yo, drop the price. Obviously, it's too high. It's been on the market for two or three days. Ain't nothing happening. In 2021, with the housing market the way that it is, yo, we gotta drop the price. So we went from 142.5 down to 138 flat and we started getting a little bit more buzz. And now we've got a potential offer. I think we've got, well, we've got the offer. The offer has been submitted to us. It is a full price offer. They wanted to close in 45 days. Oh shit, my battery's dying. Nice, fully charged battery now. I think it was Saturday, uh, Saturday I think we got the offer. Full price offer, 138. They wanted to close in 45 days and they wanted me to cover more closing than what is actually needed like i think closing cost is three percent three percent another three percent one percent something like that between realtors and title searches and things like that uh somebody had actually told me a while back another investor said you know always factor in ten percent as closing that's going to be three percent to your realtor three percent to their realtor three percent in closing cost and an additional one percent in and other things. So if we get the full price offer and that's $138,000, then the closing cost is $13,800. They want me to cover instead of 3% closing, they want me to cover 3.8% closing, I think is what it is, or 3 point something percent. So instead of, I think $4,200 is what it was gonna be, it's now like $4,800. I got no problem doing that. My realtor actually told me, he said, Joe, with the lower priced houses, you know, the average closing cost, or what you think is the average closing cost, is usually not gonna be enough to cover all closing. So I got no problem paying the little bit extra, and I can I, I will cover all the closing costs, okay? That works out. However, there are some things that I wanted. I don't wanna close in 45 days. I wanna close in a standard 30 days. I want the inspection to hurry up and take place. They wanted 10 days. We said seven days and I'm not willing to do much in terms of repairs. Don't come at me with no trivial shit is what I mean. Obviously, if there's something major, yes, I'll make sure that everything is correct with that house. But I think back to the first flip house and one of the things that they said was the hole, the access hole for the exhaust fan in the bathroom needed to be bigger. I agreed to all repairs over there, but that was a stupid thing in my opinion. The access hole was fine. The cover fit fine, like whatever. So I don't want any trivial BS because I know that that can come from a home inspection. I've actually got to go over to the flip house in a little bit. I got to go fix a, 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 a very slow leaky water valve underneath the bathroom vanity. And it's nothing I've done has been able to correct that. I, I think it was just a bad valve or a, or a shitty install, whatever it is. We didn't do that. Uh, that came from somebody else. But I'm gonna go take care of that, go check on the place. We should not be having any more showings now. I think we've only had like five or six showings all together. And we are just waiting to see if, I already know that they will do the earlier close. I guess we're just waiting for them to accept our counter. And then, hey, we're under contract. So super awesome right there. Whole hell of a lot of other shit going on that I'll be sharing with you guys in upcoming videos here on Joe Does Stuff, trust me. You guys are definitely gonna wanna check out what's going on with all of that. But I gotta get ready to get this show on the road. I'm gonna go check on the flip house and get that squared away. And hopefully sooner than later, we'll hear that this contract or this offer has been fully accepted and we are ready to move forward. And what's coming next will be the inspection. And then after that, the appraisal. The inspection will come, whatever will pop up on the inspection, we'll make those negotiations right there, whether we're willing to make those repairs or not. Again, trivial shit. 
XNA on the Ask A, and then the appraisal. Will this house actually appraise for $138,000 is a major question up in the air. They do have another two bedroom, one bath house that just hit the market recently in the same city. Only difference is this one's got a screened in back porch and a small garage and they want 150 for that house. And my house looks way better on the inside than that house does, plus that huge additional lot. So we'll see. I'm gonna get this day underway and I'll share with you guys a little bit more a little bit later. Hope you're having a good one and happy Monday to all of you out there. Oh yeah, I gotta go pay the storage fee too. I got my storage rent is due and I guarantee I'm locked out of there one day late. Okay, good deal. So I'm leaving from the storage unit. Just paid two months rent. And, you know, it's crazy about this facility. I don't know if it's because of what part of town it's located in. It's not in the greatest area. Damn, I wish I could see because I guarantee that is happening right now. So, anyways, my rent was due yesterday. Yesterday was a Sunday. It's due on the 23rd. And today's the 24th. So I paid my rent. I paid it two months up front. That's what I usually do. I paid the month. I paid two months at a time. So the day after your rent's due, they go and they red tag your unit so you can't get in your unit. I'm paying my rent. I'm asking, hey, has my unit been red tagged yet? She said, no, well, I don't know. Maybe the woman's around doing it right now. I'm over at the unit. I'm trying to get some tools that I'm gonna need for today or what I think that I'll need for today. And I see the woman pull up on the golf cart and I'm like, I said, no need to red tag this. And she said, okay, I'll wait till you're done and I'll come back and do it. I said, hey, I just paid my rent. I paid two months up front. I wasn't really trying to be rude about this. I don't think that I was. So I was like, how are you going to lock my unit on a Monday morning? My rent was due yesterday on a Sunday. I mean, I guess I could have paid it online, but damn, it's crazy. But if you think back to the other storage unit and how, I guess, lenient they were, eh, maybe they don't want to deal with any BS here. This is a big corporate storage facility, so it is what it is. No hard feelings and... It's convenient, so I gotta, gotta deal with it. All right, I'm gonna head over to the flip house, right? Oh, and real quick, um, I told the woman that I paid my rent, and she was like, okay, yeah, great, have a nice day, and no bull. As I was leaving, I seen her, she was creeping from around the corner, and she went right back down to my unit. I could have showed her the receipt right here. I didn't, because I was loading up stuff, but I just hope that if she does go and lock my unit, that when she gets back to the office, she has to go right back out there and unlock it, so good deal there let's get over to the house hopefully everything's good to go over there and fix this little faulty water valve alrighty still up in the truck and leaving from Lowe's for the second time today no big deal ain't really got too much going on over at the flip house but a couple of things that I want to address we're having some low water pressure coming out of the tub and the shower head and that's concerning to me. I know that there's a clog somewhere or maybe a, a valve that's not all the way opened up, but it's probably a clog somewhere. So if we can't get this figured out, we've got Brian number eight coming over to help us get it squared away either today or tomorrow. We've got some work in the bathroom vanity. We got a leaky uh, water valve, nothing major there. I've already got the new water valve and we're gonna go ahead and get that replaced but I wanted to try to address the tub concern prior to getting to that. I got Damon over there working on a couple of things real quick, just some minor cleanup shit. And it is official, folks. It is about 12 o'clock and we're under contract. It's official. We went back and forth one more time. Can't close for three years, but nonetheless, we're under contract. And because of the fact that we can't close as quickly as I wanted to close, which is 30 days. We've got to close a little bit later than that. They're willing to give us a, an extra thousand dollars on the price, which is not a bad little deal right there. So we're going to see, we got to get the inspection. That's going to be the first thing that's taking place. And that's going to happen within a week and then the appraisal. And then we're just going to be playing the waiting game after that. So good deal. After six days on the market, we're officially under contract. Not bad at all. Not the easiest type of a house to sell a two bedroom, one bath house. Not everybody's looking for that. Most everybody's looking for a three, two, four, two, four, three. They want bigger and better. And uh two, one, ain't nobody really messing with that. But I guess we've got some first time home buyers and want to make sure that this home that they're getting from me is a really nice place. And it already is. 
just needs a few things addressed like the water pressure water pressure is really not even that big of a deal it's not like no water pressure i just want it to be a little bit better so so hopefully that's going to be a relatively easy fix and we'll get that corrected as i get ready to wrap this up i think i'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up on all of this i want to say that tomorrow we're probably going to go back out to the landscape job uh lose a little bit on that but so what sometimes you can't win them all and when it comes to making sure that you're doing a good job for your customer hey that's the only thing that matters and the fact that you're making money but not all the time is that going to work out and sometimes you got to take an l to make a w in the end we'll be back on landscape tomorrow let's get this flip house squared away hey congratulations y'all under contract in only six days i'd say that's a w as well talk with you guys again real soon and until then do stuff productive things positive things avoid the negativity at all cost and always work toward the w even if that means you got to take a couple of l's along the way oh that was powerful right there i'm gonna need to watch this so i can write that down and use that all the time